So you want to update Minecraft Bedrock Edition on PC or Minecraft for Windows on PC. Well, generally, whenever you click play, it updates to the latest release of Minecraft for Windows. But if for whatever reason it doesn't, I'm going to give you a few different options and a few different things that you can do to make sure that you are playing on the latest release, the most recent version, and as up to date as you can be. You can see the most recent version in the bottom right of the main menu. As you can see there, V1.20.15 is the current latest version, but for you, it might be 1.30 in the future. I don't expect them to take that off the main menu, and that's how you can see what version you are playing. Now, one thing you may have noticed is that I use the Minecraft launcher here in order to play Minecraft for Windows. That's not the only way that you can access Minecraft for Windows, though. You can also play it directly. For example, if we were to come up here and click on this, this is Minecraft. It's going to launch Minecraft for Windows, what we just had open directly, not through the Minecraft launcher. The reason I mention that is because in the launcher here, you can actually come in here and change this from latest release to latest preview. So that allows you to switch between those. That's worth noting because if for whatever reason you're on an even newer version than the most recent version, you might want to come here and select that. Now, if you do open up Minecraft directly using that kind of app sort of opening up here, that doesn't matter. You can't really play the preview as far as I know from using that. So it is worth keeping in mind. Minecraft should op update whenever you run it through this. But what if it doesn't? Well, it might be because you're not connected to the internet. So you're going to want to make sure that you are connected to the internet because if you're not, you can't update. But if it still doesn't update and you're still having issues, we want to go ahead and open up the Microsoft Store. So as you can see right here, it is the Microsoft Store. It's an app basically on your computer. And if you update all of your apps on your PC, including Minecraft, using the Microsoft Store, it's going to ensure that everything is up to date and it will even update Minecraft. So if we come in here to library, we can click on update all up here in the top right. I've only got one thing that needs updating. Minecraft will probably be in this list for you if it does need updating. You can also click get updates just to ensure that everything that needs an update, Minecraft included, is included in this list. You could go down through here and specifically find Minecraft and just update that, but really and truly, always good to keep that stuff up to date on your computer. So clicking update all here will update everything, including Minecraft. Now that might not work and there there is one more method that we can try, but before we do, how to message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below to break down that XYZ slash SGH to start your very own Minecraft Bedrock Edition server that will allow you to easily play Bedrock Edition with people on iOS and Android devices, as well as people that are on Minecraft for Windows slash PC like we're updating right here all on one Minecraft server. It's super easy to set up, use, and manage the server, and if you have any issues along the way, we have live chat support to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown to XYZ slash SGH to start your very own Minecraft Better Edition server for you and your friends. Now, the last way that you can open up Minecraft with none of the other methods in this video have worked is using the Xbox app. So if we open up the Xbox app here, what we wanna do is look on the left-hand side, and we'll see that the Minecraft launcher is over here. Go ahead and click on that and then click these three dots right here and then you will see this manage button. Click that and then in here what you want to do is click on files and check for updates. That's going to update anything that needs to be updated with Minecraft. You may not have the Minecraft launcher, it may just be called Minecraft and if you have both, you'll want to do this with both of them. And then you may also need to verify and repair your files. Click yes there and it will go ahead and verify and repair all the files that you have installed, making sure that is correct as well. And then at that point you should be able to go ahead and launch up Minecraft for Windows or Minecraft Bedrock for PC without any issues and on the most recent version of Minecraft. And again, that's whether you launch it like this via the Minecraft launcher or whether you launch it via searching for, you know, the Minecraft app up here and opening it that way. So nevertheless, if you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy your newly up-to-date Minecraft Bedrock Edition, and we will see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.